Talk Radio 702. SMS Jenny Cruis Williams now on 31702. So we're talking creative parenting, but actually what we're talking about is Toy Talk, which is an annual event. And uh, it's a three-hour experience presented by uh, Nikki Bush, and she is an author, obviously, and also a creative parenting expert. And maybe by listening to this discussion, it might guide you in the direction of getting the right, the appropriate toys uh, for your child, as opposed to something that is just not going to do anything for them. You want them to have a dual purpose. You want them to be entertained. You want them to be bewitched but you also want them to get some kind of learning experience uh, from it because one of the big gaps that we do have in our society is that nursery school ga- uh, nursery school going into grade one gap where kids who haven't been given the right toys they are at a disadvantage and uh, and how do you how do you uh, lessen that disadvantage this is one of the ways so if you're going to buy a toy buy the right toy so I, I could see that you were nodding your head because toys actually do have that dual purpose don't they Absolutely, Jenny. And that's exactly why I do Toy Talk, because people are not educated about toys. You know, you walk into a very big store with 50,000, 100,000 line items, where do you start? And in fact, I have spent time watching parents do that whole exercise, trawling around the store, usually with baby on hip, toddler in hand, and they really don't know where to start. And the advice out there is not readily available from shop assistants. It's not as accessible as you would think, unless you find an owner-managed store, Uh, you know, the the smaller toy stores where you might get better advice. Even then, I don't know that you get it. Even then, Um, it's not always, you know, guaranteed. Mm. So the purpose of Toy Talk really is to educate parents on how to choose a good toy uh, because there is a lot of rubbish out there. By the same token, there are also lots of really fabulous, fabulous toys. And if you know what you're looking for, then it doesn't matter whether you're in a big store or a small store or, an, or a market. You'll be able to know what to look for. Which is where Toy Talk, the, the <coughs> events, actually come in. And That's Because right. you deal with cheap Chinese junk, which you know is going to break and it's not going to do sure. anything for them. To and every child needs things. a smattering of junk. But but what they do need are some core classics uh, in their toy box. And they also need toys um, that they can play with on their own, toys that they can play with with a parent, toys that they, I call them, I, I call them mummies toy box. Mm-hmm. Those are the special toys that stay in the top of the cupboard. Those are toys that only come down when mum or dad are present. And for me, toys are not just for educating and entertaining children, but they're a parenting tool. Mm. They are a bridge builder between parent and child. So when you do happen to have 20 minutes of time at your disposal, or 15 minutes or half an hour, what are you going to do with your child and what are you going to use when you're with your child? And absolutely, you don't need toys. You mm. could make toys out of mud and you were talking about mud pies yes, yesterday. Yes. And leaves and stones and sticks. Most children today don't have access to nature and to the things that maybe we had access to in days mm. gone by. And do many mothers make their own Play-Doh today? Probably the minority of mothers might do that. So because we are time-starved parents, we need a packaged experience. And so a game can provide that packaged experience. And a good toy, as you said earlier, will teach something at the same Mm. time. And in our country today, we do have a big, big issue. Uh, The majority of our children don't get preschool education. If you don't get preschool education, which is play-based, then you haven't really explored something like a bag of blocks. Mm. And a bag of building blocks is one of those classic toys that every child should have access to. We're learning there about shape. We're learning about color. When we build, we learn about gravity. We're learning about putting together and taking apart. So these are all Mm. concepts that kit us out for life. These are all mathematical concepts. Uh, And if we have played with a bag of building blocks, we are far more likely to be school-ready as long as somebody played with us and labelled everything as we were playing and mm. gave us the vocabulary. It's a key thing. The sa- it's the same thing with reading, of course. Um, you can't thrust a book into a child's hand and say, there, I've given them a book. That Absolutely. is just not it at all. I think we underestimate the connection between um, a person and the learning experience, the emotional connection between somebody who loves us and somebody we love and how much we take in from the experience. We're far more likely to rem- remember a lot more of 
about a learning experience if we've A, used a lot of our senses, more mm. than just one, mm. and B, if we're connecting with somebody who loves mm. us and somebody we mm. love. Well, certainly those are some of my memories, certainly with reading and, uh, and being read too. Uh, those are for anybody privileged enough to have that. And it is a privilege. Um, I think that those are moments infused with warmth and infused with security and infused with this wonderful world of the imagination mm. as well. So if you've got any questions as we go along, please give us a call. Uh, the number to dial is 8830702. You can SMS us as well, 31702. Standard SMS rates apply. And we are just simply talking about the appropriate toys uh, that you could uh, be spending for children and not necessarily expensive toys. I do want to emphasize that because a bag of bricks for an 18-month-old um, actually doesn't need to cost very much at all, does it? Not at all. And in fact, there are some absolutely awesome products coming on the market which are are based on recycling. So we've got some construction toys. For example, there's one called Tugo that I've come across where you use your inners from your foil and your toilet rolls and you add that to the plastic construction pieces that they've provided. So you can make a small bucket of building blocks into something much, much bigger. And then just the other day, there's a, a brand new product on the market called um, Make Do. We A sexy name, Makido. But I think it's actually Make Do where you take boxes if you've had a new fridge delivered or any kind of cardboard and it's got this marvelous little plastic saw and a hole maker and it's got these like you know how a cable tie works mm. well these cable ties are reusable and you can undo them and reuse them <laughs> and so you can connect pieces of cardboard and do your own creation so it's important that children use their imagination and their creativity and after all as we said in my book future proof your child create Creativity will be one of the five key X factors for success in the future. And one of the areas where toys are falling down today is that many of them are very prescriptive and you can't do a lot of things with them. In fact, they do everything for you. And that's not all toys, but we are falling into a trap with a lot of toys. But isn't there another trap that you fall into where the parents are just, okay, let's sit down and play with this instead of allowing the child to play with it in his or her own time and in his or her own yes, way. Yes. And so you, you need both. You need opportunities for children to work through a process and, for example, a craft activity where you would have to start with instruction number one and end at point number 10 in order to create something that looks like what it looks like on the box mm. uh, and so that would be a guided activity but um, it is a big issue today that children do not have time to potter around in their homes their gardens do nothing. their bedrooms and do nothing and what happens when children are allowed to do that is that they consolidate everything that, that they've experienced in the day their emotional experiences their intellectual experiences and they get to consolidate it put it all together and add meaning to it for themselves and that's the gift we're not giving children today because we are supervising them and micromanaging their lives every little second of the day and that's not healthy for children either all right give us a call 8830702 sms me remember and uh, 31702 standard sms rate supply we're talking toys and we're talking about Appropriate toys to your child and not all of them are going to cost a fortune. Some of them basically could be made if you've got a handy, uh, you know, a handyman in the house. You can make bricks. I mean, you can, you can make blocks uh, without a shadow of a doubt. So uh, give us a call if you've got any questions. One of the questions to ask is, is it age appropriate? And I think that that's going to be an interesting discussion coming up in a minute.